Do you like being unique, being the only one with your style? Check out Cage City, the fashion forward store that sells bespoke and up and coming exclusive brands. At Cage City, a high quality handmade section as well as vintage. Cage City is all about wearing what you want to wear and making you feel good wherever you are. Check out Cage City on www.lutgradionetwork.com. That's lutgradionetwork.com. For the online store for the stylish free spirit, Cage City on the lutgradionetwork.com. The holiday season brings great airfares with smart fares. That's up to 70% off on airfares plus an extra $15 off. That's right, you heard me right. An extra $15 off of airfares with smart fares. Go to lutgradionetwork.com, lutgradionetwork.com for your promo code. That's lutgradionetwork.com, smart fares for your promo code. Good morning, good morning, good morning. This is the Let Us Thank God LUTG Radio Morning Show with Kathy Brooks. Let's win some souls, play some music, and have some fun in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hey, hey, hey. Alrighty, alrighty. Praise the Lord. Jesus loves you, beloved. Hallelujah, hallelujah. This is Kathy Brock for L Radio. Amen, amen. There ain't none like me. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. I'm the one and only. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to the highest praise. Hallelujah. Let us thank God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jehovah. Hallelujah. Alright, y'all. So we got music for you. We got an opportunity for salvation. We got some poetry coming up because today is Poetry Wednesdays. Yep, yep. Amen, amen, amen. Jesus absolutely loves you, beloved. He truly, truly does. Um, I am. You, you know how. You know what? I'm gonna play. I'll tell you during my piece. I got, I, I got a little blurt, a little, a little burp. I call it. Um, and burps are, burps are like, uh, comedic takes on things in the news, sarcastic, satiric things, uh, that are happening, just stop to go, what? So, <laughs> my burp, uh, my, is coming up in my piece coming up, uh, about halfway through, so we'll say that for that. I'm going to kick you off with some poetry, Simple Hello by Jerry. And get this on ccmixer.org. What's all this sad poetry in your notebook, boy? I know you fell down. It was good to get it out. Yeah, it's good to get it out. But these lines.
Thank you for the unsubstantial life that seemed to be hurling aimlessly towards a very fast-moving train. For the trapped rabbit feeling that forced my lungs and heart to stop at once. For the homeless seven-day journey that made me aimless to reach into a bag with only two pairs of socks in it. For the anger that accompanied exile that burned holes in my carefully constructed aura of peace. For the cliched, back-breaking labor, up and down, and up and down, and up and down, and up and down. For the pain of being female, and therefore prone to be crushed, catcalled, and ignored until, quote, something terrible happens, unquote. broken faith that made me envision him sitting in Hawaii holding a nice fruity drink, an umbrella and a horse, and listening to luau music that drowned out the sorrow of his children. For the meaningless existence that made me idolize Mr. Hyde for his honesty and adore Dorian for his hedonistic beauty. The 10,000 liars who preach openness and love and secretly cry nigger and speck. being the only one who understood the trap of marriage. For my silent scream reverberating in my head that whispered aloud, take it back, as I drew a picture of the earth marred by man's wars, with no superheroes or planeteers to defend it. For the hypocrisy of education, blooming wild beside grassy leaves like dandelions, masquerading as tulips, the really expensive kind that were shipped in from Amsterdam, the despair of expectation brought to ruin by the controlling forces of family. For the exposure to the bramble path that bled me with its thorn. For the masks of black and white presuming innocence and wisdom. For the voice like a desert, preyed upon by middle school vultures. For the disrespect of fools acting like kings. 
the lemons. He tried so valiantly to make me jump with them. But the coldness emanating from ancient anal retentive body. But a sweet smoke that signaled the end of childhood and the beginning of oblivion. But the skinless vulnerability that led me to share my beaten soul with those who could feel it. For his understanding of my fragile psyche, knowing the limitations of my strength. For the pain of maturity that made my triumphs so delicious. Thank you for the knowledge of the darkness that made me desperately crave the light. Do you like being unique, being the only one with your style? Check out Cage City, the fashion forward store that sells bespoke and up and coming exclusive brands. At Cage City, a high quality handmade section as well as vintage. Cage City is all about wearing what you want to wear and making you feel good wherever you are. Check out Cage City on www.lutgradionetwork.com. That's lutgradionetwork.com. For the online store for the stylish free spirit, Cage City on the lutgradionetwork.com. All right, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Speaking of LUTGRadioNetwork.com, if you just type in LUTGRadioNetwork.com, you can take advantage of some great deals um, from many different stores, from fashion to jewelry to, to groceries, really. So there's something here for everybody, whether you are the person that likes to give treats, we got a gift package for you. Whether Maybe you, maybe you like to give wine as a gift, you got that package for you too. There's something here for everyone. Uh, you just want to be—you want to be the one with the best-looking uh, outwear, outerwear coats. Got that for you too, Chick Nova. So, no matter what, whether you want to go buy flowers or you need something for your skin, arts for brown skin, you want uh, desserts to give. We got Steve's Bakery, Mrs. Fields, or you like to give bedding, something that's useful. You want something that that'll be there when you come to visit. We got uh, Koyugi, Koyuchi, um, that is there too, amen, nice, beautiful bedding, and it's organic, and it's C-O-Y-U-C-H-I, Koyuchi, alrighty, just wanted to let you know that that is on LUTGRadioNetwork.com, and uh, one last thing, if you are embarrassed by your hands that are sweating, and you're looking for a cure, you're looking for some help, some relief, we got that for you too, amen. It's called the Electro Anti Purse Print. And that's on LUTGRadioNetwork.com. Check it all out, y'all. And while you're there, get you some NFL tickets. Get $10 off. Get you some tickets to uh, Beyonce's concert. Get you some tickets to a concert. To the latest Christian concerts. You name it, it's there. LUTGRadioNetwork.com. Alright, so. Here is my piece. Lately, I've been seeing on the news, uh, you know, like on the television news, and uh, you know, reading and li li listening and seeing different stuff. And the other day, I came across a news report, and it said, I was so upset, I didn't even watch the whole thing. I just saw a clip. That was more than enough for me. It said that a teacher has sent one over 1,000 text messages to a student and in one of the text messages there was some sort of a solicitation for sex so I, they played a good portion of it now whether this is true or not I have no idea my question was how did the student get the teacher's phone number cell phone number I understand you know people want to be close they want to be you know available you have and this the child was 13 years old this is still a child even though they had they at 13 you know right from wrong you know that talking to your teacher that much and in personal conversations even though you may be needy you you get a sense in, inside of you this is wrong and as an adult you know that talking to that child that much is wrong. I don't care how many problems they got. I don't care if their mama's a drug addict, their daddy in jail. 
or the daddy's a drug addict, mama in jail, ain't got no parents, sleeping outside on the corner, whatever. You get them help by sending them to the right people, sending them to the right agency. You don't send and you don't sit and text them a thousand plus messages. Really? Why? That's, that's kind of like wisdom on crack. Just stupid. I forgive me for calling people stupid, but I I just don't get it. I don't get it. This is not. This is not necessarily an opinion, but it's a what? <laughs> what was going through your brain? So, and to all the parents out there that have kids, know who your kids are calling. You got a teenager out there, they may not like you looking at their text messages, but I tell you what, you better glance at them every now and then. You better glance at them and tell them, hey, I pay the phone bill, I want to know. Even if they pay their own cell phone bill, I want to know. I want to know. And if they're 13 paying their own cell phone bill, you really need to talk to them. Make sure they got some wisdom going on. Because, I mean, they got money, but you won't know where that money is coming from. So, ask, have an open conversation with your kids. That means you got to beat up on them all the time. You know, let them know who's boss. But... Let them know that the boss's door is open to them so that they can come and talk to you about whatever. So that no other adult is talking to them about you or about whatever situation that you should be talking to them about. You feel me? So, I mean, really. It's just bananas. And when I when I saw that story, it reminded me of uh, this girl that filed a lawsuit against this man and nobody believed her uh, she filed a lawsuit against the corporation and nobody really believed her except for her sister her big sister believed it and because I, I don't believe that a 13 year old can seduce a, a grown person I, I don't believe it I, I don't believe it. it to me it's unfathomable because a child even though some people say oh well she's sexual sexual means to have sex and children, they they don't have sex. They don't. They don't even. I don't care how mature a person is. If it's a child, they don't really have the the mental ability to even understand the complexity of sex. So you can never tell me that a child seduced an adult. It's not even possible. They don't have the ability to even understand what that is. You can look up a word and and understand a definition. But there's an emotion behind all that. It, it's so spiritual and it's so emotional. A child doesn't even have the ability to do that. So this is where adults got to understand and know what their children are doing at all times. If, if Johnny or Mary Jane is going to soccer, where is it? What time is it? When does it end? Who is the coach? Who are the other parents? Who are the children? Know who your children are around. If they go into the library, where is it? Who's the librarian? Who's the security guard? Who's there often? What's happening on these days? You need to know. You need to know. And don't assume because you heard X, Y, Z about this person that they must be a bad person. I don't want my child around them. If you believe someone is a bad person, then you yourself need to go to that person and say, Hey, how you doing? I'm so-and-so. I, uh, I see you're new to the area. Find out who they are. Never take, never, ever, ever take somebody else's gossip. Always find out for yourself because you know what happens? The one that's spreading the gossip about the other person is nine times out of ten the one that is doing that act. You're like, well, Kathy, how do you know? Growing up on the streets of Chicago, you see different things. And you'll see people that will throw, they'll throw a ball and have you look right when the action is actually going on on the left. So you, you got to be careful. Now I ain't saying you're going to be able to talk to every person. But if your child is in the vicinity of these people that you think that are doing something bad, ask the who, what, when, where, why, and how. Ask. Find out. Find out who they are. Always ask. Never assume anything, especially when it comes to your kids. Never, ever assume. Find out. Find out for yourself. That don't mean go up and start punching on people and accusing people. Find out. 
Just ask. It's better to ask than to mess around. Put yourself, put your kids in a situation where they're texting some teacher back and forth over a thousand texts. That's just bananas. And I truly don't understand. Alright, so there you go. That is my piece on that. Ran over a little bit, but I just want you to know you need to know what your kids are doing always. Always. I right, no excuses. Always know. Here's Grace and Mercy by C. Nabi. Yes, yes. God said in his word that his grace and his mercies are renewed towards our lives daily. So no matter what you do, where you been, get up and go forward. On my left and right, it's grace and mercy. Y'all might get it right, cause grace and mercy. When I take a fall, it's grace and mercy that stands me tall. That's grace and mercy. Go up front and behind, it's grace and mercy. God stay on my mind. It's grace and mercy when I take a stand. It's grace and mercy doing all I can. That's grace and mercy. Welcome to the kingdom. Welcome to the kingdom. Might as well join us because can't nobody beat him. Him is the savior. Ain't nobody greater. People gonna hate you because of your favor.
across as arrogant sometimes. I'm aware of it. Got other stuff inside, just don't wanna share it. It don't matter now. The damage is done. Just gotta get over whatever. Move on. All got stories to make another shed tears. Keep a psychologist working for years. They can get on your vibe, they can get in your head. At the end of the day, still gotta make your own bed. That ain't cynical, it's truth, it's fact. Ain't got nobody 24 hours watching your back. It's better you learn it now while you're young. You only ever really have yourself to rely on. I ain't no hater, I love everyone here. But it's a universal kind of love, I wanna make that clear. If you wanna love me back from a distance, that's fine. Just stay out of my face, don't cross over the line. I don't do one to one, cause that's not my tone. I ain't into none of that sh- mills and boom. Fairy tale stuff might be all good for some, but I'm living in a real world. This is my one. Yeah, this is my one. I'm riding through life on the back of a lion. It's with me wherever I go. Under the almighty road, there's a kid. It's only for show to make sure I'm not bit by the mass of the cruel society. No one can touch me. on the back of a lion. Woo! That's the Lord. Praise the Lord. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believe in him should not perish but have everlasting life. You guessed it. It's time for the altar call. If you would like to receive Jesus Christ into your heart, receive the promise of uh, everlasting life, the forgiveness of your sin, now is the time to do so. Now is the time to say, okay, Jesus, you know what? I've heard your word. I've heard people left and right saying, you're forgiving, you're loving, you're kind. I want to find out for myself. Yep, that's right, Jesus. I want to receive you into my heart. I believe you love me. I believe what they said. Or, Jesus, I'm not entirely sure. I've never been loved before. You know, in my past, love always came with a fit. But if you're telling me you're going to love me without hurting me, all right, I'm I'm down for it. I'm 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 up for it, Jesus. I do it. I want to know your love, Lord. I want to know what it's like to be loved unconditionally. If that's you, or whatever situation you got, you just want to know Jesus. Repeat this prayer after me, Lord Jesus. I ask you to forgive me of all my sins. I confess my sins before you this day. I denounce Satan and all his works. I confess Jesus as the Lord of my life. Thank you for saving me. And for bringing me back to where I once was. From this day forward, Lord Jesus, I will be sensitive to how you feel. I won't hurt you. I will obey you. Lord Jesus, I ask you to present me to Jehovah in your name. Lord Jesus, I believe with my heart, I confess with my mouth, that you rose from the dead, that I am saved and receive you today wholeheartedly, 100%. Make me a light in a dark place. And from this day forward, I will leave this place and share you with everyone I meet and everyone I know. It's commitment, Jesus. I will get this world for you. I pray this prayer to the Father in the name of Jesus. I receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus with evidence of speaking in tongues. For the edifying of the body of Christ Jesus by the will of Jehovah God. Amen. Amen. Congratulations. Praise the Lord. Go to LUTGRadioNetwork.com, LUTGRadioNetwork.com. Click on the link, find a church, get baptized at water, take your foundation class and your prayer intercessory class. Remember, Jesus absolutely loves you, beloved, and he only wants the best for you. Also, read your Bible. Amen. And uh, here is something for all of you guys. Um, Read the book of Mark. Um, Read the book of Mark. I'm actually reading it. It's about 16 chapters. It tells you a bit about the ministry of uh, Christ. Uh, it's a good, it's a good tool. Read the all of the book of Mark. It doesn't take that long. You can read like uh, five chapters in uh, like a half hour if you just read straight through. I mean, that's that's not even reading fast. It's reading kind of slow. So do that. Follow me to segment number three, which is the birthdays. 
Just read a chapter every day, a little bit every day. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah.